guys i hope you guys are doing well i hope you went to church today is sunday and i hope your service went well so today we'll just continue from where we stopped last week on guiding your heart and um, ensuring that your hearts are filled with the right things you know what you think make you as a person the things that you think form your belief system form your core from your values so what are you thinking what do you dwell on as a person are you constantly dwelling on that problem that problem that you it seems to be killing you and you are shouting ah this problem will kill me you hmm. that is what you are dwelling on my sister if that's what you're dwelling on then that problem will definitely kill you because this is not based on the word of god the bible says that god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind so if you're afraid that something will kill you and you are letting all that fear attack you then you're you're not you're living in disobedience <laughs> and god's hands will be tied because you have to stand on the promises you have to stand on the word of god what does the word of god say what does the word of god say there's several you know I don't know if I've said the story before, but Ken Higgin of Blessed Memory he always said that he has never been to the valley, never. He has always been on the mountain. Why? Because it is a state of mind. If those issues are around you, everyone has challenges, by the way. So if your own challenges are seeming like they want to kill you, it's because you are constantly dwelling on them. The Bible says that looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, so at the end of the day, this thing is not about you at the end of the day. It's about Jesus. So you need to come to that place where you focus about Jesus. Where you focus on Jesus, sorry. And his finished work. That problem is, have, they, have you been diagnosed with cancer, for example? Himself took away your infirmities. And by his stripes you have been made whole. First Peter 24, you dwell on that. You don't dwell on the lies from the pit of hell. You don't dwell on the doubts that Satan brings to your mind because that is his, that's his mood operandi to bring doubts. But then you fight it with the word of God. So if your belief system is faulty, then you're going to have problems because that is all you'll be dwelling on. You need to guard your heart. You need to, to succeed there, you need to guard your heart. You need to think the right things. That is why Philippians 4 verse 8 says that whatever things are true, whatever things are lovely, if there be any praise, if it is, if there is any virtue, dwell on such things. Dwell on such. The Bible says that he's able to meet our needs according to his riches in glory. The Bible says that a cattle on a thousand hills belong to Father God. So there's nothing that God cannot solve. So why, why do you want to kill yourself? Why? Dwell on the right things. Dwell on the right things to think this week and see how happier you will be. See your life transform. The Bible says rejoice, and again I say rejoice, but you cannot rejoice if you are dwelling on things that will bring pain and heartache to you. Let your belief system be, be built on the word of God. Stand on the word of God. That is what you will believe. That's what should make up your core. So this is my message for you this week. Go and learn the promises of God concerning that situation. And stand. And let those form your core. Let those form your belief system. And you'll see a transformation. Bye. Have a blessed week.